We were pleased with the first half of the year. We delivered a strong performance, which exceeded our expectations. Overall sales and underlying profit before tax were both up 13% and underlying earnings per share was up 18%. The main reason for this performance was the increase in global car and truck production, which had a particularly positive impact on our emissions control technologies division. We also saw good demand for our process technologies products. Looking at our emissions control technologies division, sales and operating profit grew well. We have experienced good demand for our products and growth in sales across all regions. While the European car and truck market is still relatively weak, our heavy duty diesel catalyst business performed very well in the first half. There was evidence of pre-buy ahead of the new Euro 6 legislation which comes fully into force on the 1st of January 2014. We saw customers fitting the higher value Euro 6 systems as well as others who were taking advantage of the lower catalyst costs for Euro 5 and buying ahead of the new legislation. So we benefited in both ways. Process Technologies also had a good first half with sales up 15%. We were pleased with the contribution from the Formox business, which we acquired at the end of last year. Our precious metal products division was steady in the first half. We saw a recovery from this time last year, and overall volumes in our services businesses increased. Underlying profit increased by 24% as the division benefited from relatively easy comparables. Our fine chemicals business was also steady in the first six months with sales up 5% while our new businesses division continued to make good progress driven mainly by battery technologies. At this stage, it is hard to assess the effect of the pre-buy I mentioned earlier on the second half performance of ECT. However, if we exclude the impact on profitability, which we'll see in Q4 as a result of the end of our current contracts with Angler Platinum, we expect Johnson Maddy's performance in the second half to be in line with the first.